Hi, my name is Kimberly Fretlow, and this is my head to toe video for Marysville University. This is my candidate, Amanda, and she's here for a general assessment. Um, I washed my hands, and upon entering, my staff has taken Amanda's uh, vital signs, height and weight, and her BMI, all which are normal. We have tested her short and distance vision with the Snellen chart and the Rosenbaum chart. Right now, I'm going to look at Amanda and I'm going to assess how her stance is, how she's holding herself, which is all normal. I'm looking at her head. Um, I'm going, I'm test, looking at symmetry, how she holds herself, her head is all midline. I'm going to feel her scalp for any lumps, bumps, or lesions. I'm feeling her hair, which is evenly distributed and it's fine, but it's not coming out as I pull on it. Um, I'm going to feel her facial bones, looking for any lumps, bumps, or lesions. I'm going to feel her frontal sinuses. Tell me if you have any pain. Her mastoid sinuses. I'm also looking at her eyebrows. Her eyelashes all are a good volume and are outwardly presented. Her eyes are midline. Um, also, I'm looking at her mouth. Everything is midline. I'm also gonna have her do a range of activities to test her cranial nerves. So Amanda, can you stick out your tongue? Wag it from side to side. That tests cranial nerve 10. Can you clench your teeth? That tests cranial nerve five and seven. Um, can you close your eyes real tight and wrinkle your forehead? Okay. Um, also, okay, I'm gonna check, look at her eyes. I'm gonna test her um, consensual response. And indirectly and directly her pupillary response. So I'm looking at this eye, and then I'm gonna look at the other eye. So it should consensually move. Having trouble. So they're both equal. Now, can, can you cover one eye? I'm looking for any strain of that eye or, you know, crossing of the eye. Can you cover the other eye? Okay. Now, focus here on my nose. I'm gonna chest her cardinal, 12 cardinal gaze. So follow this with just your eyes. And then focus on this. Okay. Now I'm going to um, assess her nose. I'm gonna make, it is midline. I'm gonna look in her nose to make sure that her turbinates are pink and moist and that her septum is straight. Everything looks good. Now, would you cover one nostril and breathe through it and cover the other nostril? Good. So they are patent. Now I'm going to assess her ears. I'm feeling the oracle for any lumps, bumps, or lesions, and everything looks good. I'm going to look into her ear and uh, see if she has a good light reflex, and her tympanic membrane is um, pink with a good light reflex and a little bit of gray. Everything looks good there. I'm looking at the ear. Everything looks good there. Now I'm going to test her hearing with the tuning fork, which tests air conduction and bone conduction. I'm going to tap this tuning fork and tell me if you feel it in right or left ears or both ears. Both. Okay. Now I'm going to tap this and I'm going to place this tuning fork on your mastoid behind your ear and tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore. Tell me when you don't hear the sound now. I don't hear. Okay, very good. So um, bone conduction to air conduction is two to one. So now I'm going to um, assess her neck and her um, lymph nodes. Periauricular, postauricular, occipital, cervical chain, subclavicular, deep clavicular, I mean, you know, um, preclavicular and subclavicular. Also, I'm going to um, assess her mouth. I'm looking at her mouth, it's pink and moist. There's no cracks at the corners or anything like that. I'm gonna have her um, tell me if she feels this on her face. Close your eyes and do you feel this? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now 
Now open your mouth. I'm going to look in her mouth and check her teeth and her gums and make sure all her um, teeth are there. Stick out your tongue. You're going to look at the side of your tongue for any lesions, oral cancer. Um, say ah. Uh. Ah. Okay. Now I'm going to ah. Let's test her gag reflex. Okay. It's there. <laughs> Everything looks good. Okay, going down the neck, her trachea is midline. I'm going to palpate and palpate her trachea and her thyroid, feeling for any lumps or bumps. I'm gonna push it to the right side and ask her to swallow, please. Okay, I don't feel anything. Swallow again. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to palp um, oscillate her carotids. Hold your breath. Okay, breathe. And then I'm going to listen to her thyroid. Make sure I don't have any bruise, which I do not. So now we'll move on to the posterior chest. When assessing the posterior chest, we're going to look at symmetry of breathing. We're going to make sure that she's not breathing too fast. She's breathing about 16 to 18 breaths per minute, which is normal. I'm going to look at hair distri distribution, look for lesions, any kind of rash or anything like that. I'm also going to look at the anterior posterior aspect, which it, it's normal one to two. Um, I'm going to put my hands at the 10th rib and have her take a deep breath for expansion which all is good. I'm going to percuss intercostally, systematically. Which all is normal. I'm going to test her costophrenic angle for any kidney pain. If you feel pain, let me know. Also, I'm going to test for lung expansion and I'm going to Cuss until I hear a change. And then it would mark. Then it would put cuss down. And a mark. And normal is three to five centimeters on both sides. Mark. Mark. Okay? Everything sounds, I mean, looks good. She's within normal range. Now I'm going to oscillate. Systematically, take a deep breath, just regular. I hear no crepitus, I hear no cracks, crackles. I hear clear lung sounds, no adventitions, lung sounds. I'm also gonna listen on the sides. Okay, so with the back, we are done. Now we're going to do the front, the anterior part of the chest. With the anterior part of the chest, we're going to do the same as the back of the chest. I'm going to scan and I'm going to look for any lesions. I'm looking for hair distribution, any kind of rashes or anything that I can see. Um, I'm going to percuss, but I'm going to go down the sides this time. It all sounds good. Now I'm going to um, feel her lymphatic, you know, axillary, lymph and, and, I mean, lymph nodes, make sure they're not swollen. I'm going to listen to her lungs systematically. So she has clear expansion, I hear no crackles, crepitus, or rubs, or anything like that. And while I'm here, I'm, I'm looking 
at her chest also for any heaves or um, pulsations that I can see from the heart. I'm going to listen to her heart, her, um, heart now. I'm going to listen to aorta. Pulmonary. Tricuspid. Mitral. Herbs point. And apex. So while I'm here, I'm going to um, also feel for crepitus. So when I put my hands on your chest, I want you to say 99, okay? 99, 99, 99. Okay, and I'm also going to feel her position of maximal uh, PMI and see if her apex is, see, there's no heaves. And so far, it all looks good. So now I'm going to look at um, Amanda's, you know, musculature and look at her arms, feel her arms, feel her brachial pulses her radial pulses, which are normal. She has normal musculature. Her hands look okay. Her nails are pink, and she has a less than three second capillary refill. Um, I'm gonna test her reflexes in her arms. And that's all normal. Um, I'm going to have her put her arms out in front of her and we're going to do some strength musculature push up and I'm going to resist push up push down put your arms out to your side out this way and push up and push down okay good now I'm going to um, now I'm going to look at the musculature of Amanda's legs which all look normal I'm looking at looking for any lesions hair distribution or any rashes and everything looks good, even hair distribution. Her dorsalis pedis pulses are present. So are her tibial fibules, her popliteal pulses are right there, plus two. Her nails look good on her feet. She has, you know, less than three second capillary refill on her feet. So push your legs out. Good, now push them in. Good, now push like you're pushing gas, now pull up. Good. Strength is normal in her legs. So now we're going to assess her abdomen. So do you want to lay right down there? Okay. Where's my sheet? To maintain privacy, we're going to cover up with a sheet. Now when I'm looking and I'm getting her ready to assess her abdomen, I'm looking at her abdomen again at the skin. I'm looking for lesions, rashes, or bumps. Okay, just relax. Okay, I'm going to um, do a tangent, tangential view of her abdomen with the light, looking across it, looking for any heaves, you know, pulsations, bumps, or lumps, which I see none. Um, now I'm going to um, inspect her abdomen. And I'm going to also take all four bowels, all four quadrants for bowel sounds. She has good bowel sounds. I'm going to listen to her aorta. Listen for her renal arteries. if I hear any brewies, iliac, and femoral. Next, I'm going to palpate the liver. I'm going to uh, percuss. Now coming down the mid, the middle clavicular line, I'm going to pest, test the expansion of the liver. So I hear a change in the sound about there. I'm going to come up. 
Okay, about there, three to five centimeters is normal. And now I'm going to percuss the spleen, which is a dull sound. So I, it's a dull sound, so I know it's there. So now I'm going to do light palpation, feeling any organs, for any organs, lumps or bumps. Feel her aorta. Now I'm going to see if I can feel her spleen, which I'm not supposed to be able to. Now I'm going to feel, see if I can feel the liver border. It's right there. Now I'm going to see if I can feel her right kidney and her left. So other than that, I've felt her aorta, I've assessed all of her abdomen, everything looks good. So um, just raise up a little bit, Mama, so look, look, raise up, sit up so I can see if there's any like bumps or glumps around the hernia, we got any umbilical hernias going on there. Okay, lay down. Okay, now you can sit up. On the side. Now I'm going to test her reflexes with her knees and her ankles. It's a good reflex. I'm going to test her Achilles. Knees. Good. Very good. Now, if you could just uh, step down, if you can, or jump down. Okay. Turn around. I'm going to feel your spine. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling her spine. I'm checking to see if it makes sure it's straight. It has no lumps or bumps. She does have the typical cervical little bump there. It's kind of hereditary. Um, I'm going to go down her spine. That all looks good now, Mom. If you can back up just a little, bend over as far as you can. I'm gonna make sure your spine is straight. Don't hit your head. So now her spine looks good, and it's all straight. There's no curvature. That's it. This concludes the assessment of my mom. Thank you.